my this YouTube channel is apparently Houghton ninety three, I think. I don't know. I've never used it before. Yeah, Houghton ninety three. Live. Don't know what. The... Oh shit! I can hear myself. I don't know, yeah, I don't know what the image is about, but whatever. <laughs> right, then, let's carry on watching. Playing? Why did I say watching? Playing? <laughs> let's carry on watching myself play. Take that. Let me know when you've made it into the stream, mate. Yeah, that's what it is. Iron Code, Sango, Water, Obey. Fucking secret room. Oh no, I found the secret room. I need to find the other secret room. Yeah, I need that fucking secret room. Right, uh, you want to Could be there. Could be there. Could be there. I'm taking over. Oh no, it can't be there. Could be there. Nice. Damn. Yeah, he thinks it's a big boy now, isn't it? Fucking pussy. Yeah, apparently. Oh man, I'm so strong. <laughs> I'm so fucking strong. A short? I don't think that's that account. I think it's a different one. Search Pavlov PSVR 2 and then my name maybe. I don't know. Don't know how it works, bro. I'm not. I'm not that kind of guy. You know, I've never done this before. Uh, I, I put that on there for um, and then put it in the the subreddit for Aldi. So I actually did get some help, not great help. I got the issue fixed in the end. I don't know how it got. It's only recently it started getting bare views, mate. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Have love. Do you want fucking help me? All right, let me fucking check. Let me fucking check this. So it says my fucking name actually is Joshua fucking Houghton. Just says Joshua Houghton. Maybe that's my channel name then. I don't think it is. Joshua Space Houghton. Pavlov PSVR two. Is that is that what it says, Joshua Houghton? That's fucking gay, isn't it? We need to fucking change that up. I'm on a poor screen now. Here we go. Oh, earlier. Yeah, I was just testing. <laughs> um, can you see now? Game like loaded up or whatever. Stand. Yeah, I guess you'll have to. I don't know how to do it with the voice.
Do I take that? Fuck it, I got money and I. Yeah, don't stream tonight, mate. I don't want to. Oh, two people watching? One's me and one's you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Didn't mean to take the bomb. Yeah, so I'm on fourth floor, I think. Bro, like, I've on it easy mode, though. This, look, see this thing at the start? This little thing that's moving, the Star of Bethlehem. My stats, if I stand inside it, my stats go up dramatically, and I get homing shots. So, I'm just going to stay inside it and just basically piss all over the game, just while, uh... It takes ages, as you can see, but... It's fucking worth it. Come on. Yeah, look, I get an extra five damage and an extra five tiers, right? So that's my normal one, and then in this. Fuck it you now. But it's the it's the homing that kills it. People just can't do shit. Basically this uh I've never had this item before, I've only just got it like for the first time ever. I'll do that after. Um, it travels to the boss room, which is where it's going right now. Which, um, so I'm just following it and taking advantage of all the bonuses until we get into the boss room. But it also stays in the boss room. So it's making the boss fight super fucking easy. I, I'm super hardcore. This is one of the, like, like, to get this item, I actually did, I actually fucking played the system. Um, I can't remember what I did now, but I did it early on and fucked it up to get it. Fucked the game up, mate. Oh, see, this is the boss room. Who is? Do you reckon he has a life, or? Do you think? Don't know, probably not, to be honest. I don't think he fucking works. Right, here we go. The quarter. <laughs> I hate this floor. Why is it so dark, man? I hate this coin so much. I don't understand why they did it. They made a coin so it keeps fucking moving and it, it's worth like so many coins. Why not just make the coin worth so many and just let me pick it up as one? Fucking waste of my effort and time. So, it literally just follows me and I can swing it kind of in front of me, like that sort of thing. Damages enemies that it's in, like that it hits. Um, but also, you can break things like that if you run over them. So that's one really good use of it. Uh, I have to look for like the secret rooms and shit. Um, the way that the secret rooms work. Let me kill these fuckers because they're annoying to be fair. Um, so the way the secret rooms work is you have a secret room and a super secret room. And the secret room can only spawn... Oh fuck. See that little gaps bro Ah, oh, I got hit the second time. <laughs> um, secret room can only spawn adjacent to other rooms. Um, it has to be adjacent to at least like one other room. Um, and then the super secret room cannot be adjacent to any rooms and tends to be closer to the boss room. But it's not strictly always by the boss room. So a good way to do it is to clear the rooms first, look at the map, figure out the way, like where it could possibly be, and then fucking sort it out. Fucking hell, die? I d I'm not even like weak, but I feel fucking weak. Oops. I'm looking at the minute. I'm looking for the. Uh, every floor has a uh, a golden chest, like a golden room, which basically always contains an item. So that's what I'm looking for at the minute before I go further. Fuck off. And also these uh, shops. There's a shop right next to me. Shops are really good if you've got money like I have. That item right there is fucking unreal. This one costs 15 coins. 
obviously you're delayed, which is a bit trash, but <laughs> yeah, it it basically gives you like 15 extra attack. Um, and it but the the t it goes down. It lasts three minutes, and it go it goes all the way down like um to just zero, like back to what my normal attack is. But there's a secret. There's an item you can get called Rock Bottom, and it basically means that anything you get that has a negative, the negative is never applied anymore. So you'd pick it up and you get 15 straight damage, and it can't apply the negative, so it can't go down. <laughs> Proper sick. Um, this is the super secret shop um, that I got from the gold chest earlier. I mean, the gold card earlier, but it doesn't seem to. I don't know what this is. I've never had this before, so I'm just going to get it just to see. Controllable buddies. Oh, we all move at the same time. Soul of Judas, never used. Fuck it, let's try it. Oh yeah, I know what that is now. And... 1 plus 1 forever. Do I one? Oh, I should have kept enough coins for that, really. But I will hopefully get enough still on this floor for them. Because I do want to get that before I leave. You, I will literally, like, shit all over the boss when, uh, when I get that. See, like this one, secret room. It's adjacent to three rooms, and you can enter all different sides. So. There's obviously different places it can spawn. Like, um, this isn't the only place on this floor where it, it's got adjacent rooms. You just kind of have to use your best initiative. Try and get it. Oh, I can't wait to get on the next floor now because this floor is just super dark and it's doing my head in. So like these, for instance, I could just leave the ball in front of them because <laughs> the ball follows me. I can't attack these in front. I can just let them run into it. Kill them that way. Oh, uh... oh my god. I haven't had this item before in my life. I unlocked it right. I have honestly spent, I'm not even joking, I've spent probably like the last two weeks unlocking this item. It's so fucking hard to unlock. I finally unlocked it. I've never had it, but this is a challenge run and I've got it now. It shoots out fetuses, which is broke, but for some reason, I don't know the actual reason. I guess we're going to find out in some of these runes. It's super fucking strong. I mean, look, they're all just running around, just fucking doing the work for me. I, I don't know, like, this is apparently, like, one of the best items in the game right now. Um, and I've never had it before. But, yeah, this is basically, it gets to a point like this now, and I've definitely won the run. There's no way I'm possibly going to lose this run. And I'm going to get this to give me even more damage. And then, see so my damage now, 24-ish, and it's going to keep going down, but... I'm going straight to the uh, the boss room, so it makes no difference. I'm going to absolutely shit all over this boss. Get ready for this H-bar, mate. HP-bar is just going to be a gun. Uh, I'll just go straight down to the next floor. No point in wasting time. Yeah, that's also part of the fact that, like, this Star of Bethlehem, look, it's putting my damage up to 41. It's just fucking ridiculous. Okay. Um, there's no point in me even waiting for that now. Like, because I've got um, the damage up bonus. It's only going to last so long. Might as well just carry on and just kill everything. See what I get from here. That's crap. Glass cannon. Hardest part of this game is learning what fucking every item does in the game. So you don't have to... You can just see it and you haven't got to research what the fuck it is. Do you know what? 
all that does is need that needs to get to the boss room and then I've done anyway, so I'll just I'll just there's no point in me searching the other rooms. Oh you know, what, I'll see if I can find the thingy quickly actually first. The coin room. See if I can make it overpowered. Like I'm not already overpowered at the minute. Oh my goodness! Um <laughs> I've just found a planetarian room. It's a... Uh, it's basically, it has a 1% chance to, to spawn. <laughs> I've just managed to find one. It has a 1% chance to spawn. The only way to get it to spawn more is you, um, you know the gold room that always contains an item. You just don't open one. What's that do? Oh, it feels lucky. That's trash. I should have waited for the other thing. Yeah, if you don't open them, uh, open a gold uh, room, which is obviously kind of shitty to do because it's going to contain the best items you um it increases the next floor chance of having one by 20 percent and if you don't take the gold room on the next one another 20 percent but because the gold shit is so good it doesn't really it's not really worthwhile to ever not take them but then again also the planetarium rooms doing do carry some really fucking good items that's just fucking op though i've definitely won this now See my damage when I've got him in this. Yeah. This is it. Challenge done. And then this makes it even fucking stronger. That's just dumb, man. Oh, that's what my thing did. I can break rocks. Ah. That was easy. Where am I in the world? 105th. Pretty shit. So annoying that that C section, that weapon, that like thing I found, I found in a challenge run because I need to get it really in the actual game. It, yeah, yeah. Well, this is it. I'll, sh I'll show you like now quickly. So obviously you're a little bit delayed, but when it's on the character screen, you'll see Isaac and Isaac. I've got a page which is all bloody, and then inside that there's loads of different marks. And all of them have red round it, which means I've done it on hard mode. So, first one is killing uh, Mom's heart. Then it's killing... and But from Mom's heart, you get to choose which way you want to go. You can either go um, Angel Root or uh, Devil Root. And basically, you have to... If you go Devil Root, you fight Satan and the Lamb. And if you go um, Angel Root, you fight... Isaac and then question 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 mark so it basically goes the cross is Isaac the one to the right of that is the positive which is where you fight question 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 the one underneath it the un, un, upside down cross is Satan and then the other one is the lamb and then next to that uh, the top right is the greed mode which is a separate mode entirely uh, where you basically fight waves of enemies before you go on floors it's fucking hard then below that is Mega Satan. That's one of the hardest bosses. Uh, the star. <laughs> to do the star, you have to get to Mom's heart and beat Mom's heart within 20 minutes. And then you have a chance to have the, a door open, which is called Boss Rush. You go into Boss Rush and you have to defeat, I think it's 15 bosses in a row. Um, that'll get you the star. Then underneath that is Hush. To get Hush, you have to be... Oh, sorry, it's not Mom's heart, it's Mom. Like, that foot that you just saw me beat, you beat that in 20 minutes to get that. Hush, you have to beat Mom's heart in 20 within 25 minutes. So from that floor where I said you get Boss Rush, which is 20 minutes, you have to beat two more floors within the next five minutes. And the floors obviously get bigger and bigger as you go down, and the harder. And then you can fight Hush. Hush is one of the hardest bosses. Beat that. Once you beat that, you get a chance to open a door to fight Delirium, which takes you to the Void. The Void also has a 5% chance to to open up when you beat Isaac or you beat Satan. Um, and a 50% chance to, to spawn after beating Mega Satan. But the only 100% chance is going through Hush first. 
which means you also haven't gone past mom's heart at that point, so you're, you're not as strong. But yeah, you get the void. The void is a massive floor that contains six different bosses, one of them being Delirium. You don't know which one takes you to Delirium. Then you beat, then you fight Delirium, which is one of the hardest bosses in the game, and that changes the piece of paper in the background to bloody and all ripped, right? So that's the next hardest. You can get it just ripped. That's doing it on normal mode, but you want bloody, uh, which can basically to do everything. And then next to that is mom, <laughs> is mother. To do this one, right, you have to go through the first floor. And then at the end of the first floor, you use a key to take you to an alternative version of the the first floor. You beat two, fir two of the alternative versions. And on the second one, there's a white flame. You go into the white flame. You can go into a mirror. And then you can get mom's knife handle. Then, beating that set on that second floor, you have to use two bombs to open up an alternative, alternative version of the third and fourth floor. On the fourth floor... There's three buttons. You press all three buttons. Takes you into some other little area. You lose all your equipment, all your stat pickups and everything. And you basically have to go and get Mom's knife to create the handle and the knife to make what like one big knife. When you got the big knife, you're running out of that area. And there's Mother's like shadow that chases you. You can't attack it. It does like a little. It makes a noise and then it shoots across the screen at you. So you basically have to force it to shoot at you. Uh, in a certain way where you can dodge around it and then you can carry on doing what you're doing and you have to keep doing that until you get out of that area. Once you're out of that area, <laughs> yeah, you you um you have to go you have to use two of your hearts to open up an alternate another alternative area uh, for the fifth and sixth floor. The end of the sixth floor, there'll be a a door which appears and the door appears and it's like a red door. You basically needed Mom's knife to be able to shoot that to open it up. Um, otherwise, you can get to there and you'd never be able to go through. You open that up. You do one more floor, which is like M Mausoleum or something. To, it's another alternative version of like a completely random floor. Uh, <laughs> at the end of that, you jump down a hole. And then when you go in the hole, you fight Mother, which is again one of the top hardest bosses. There's like five bosses in this game that are all super fucking hard. It probably goes like Hush, then Mega Satan, then Delirium, then Mother, and then Beast. So anyway, that's Mother. Beat Mother. That's that one done. And then the last one, bottom right corner, is Beast. Now Beast is annoying because it's one of the hardest bosses. has the most HP, 10,000 HP. Uh, but you also have to fight four other bosses just before fighting him. And to do so... Oh, sorry, five bosses before fighting him. And to do so, you have to go through the first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, and then on the sixth floor, you have to find any item that will spawn you somewhere. So you've got you've got like um, items that can teleport you to the the gold room, the the shop, a secret room, one that literally teleports you to the very first room of that floor. Anything like that, you need to find one, and there's always one on that floor. But where it is, is always different. You might have to break certain rocks and stuff to find it. But that also means you need bombs and stuff at that point. But bear in mind, this is the sixth floor. So you're not as powerful as you would like to be. But anyway, you fight you fight Mom. Once you beat Mom, you take either the negative or the Polaroid. Um... When you take them, you then have to use that item to spawn you out of there because you can't do anything in that room other than go further in, uh, further down. So you need to use this to spawn you out. Once you've spawned out, the negative of the Polaroid will open a door that spawns on the very uh, first area of that floor. You open that, leads you into a new place. You go into this place, really fucking hard floor, but when you get to the end of the floor, you go into the boss room and there's no boss, there's just a note from your dad. You collect it, and then you go in reverse back down from the 6th floor to the 5th floor to the 4th floor, 3rd, 2nd, 1st and going in reverse um, you can't get any new items though there's no new items that spawn so you're already capped at what you have at this point once you get to the basement you do the basement and it takes you out of the basement into Isaac's room you go into Isaac's room there's a chest there can contain an item but doesn't, most of the time it doesn't then you go further around 
you go into mum's bedroom. In mum's bedroom, there's always an item, but it's always a mum's item. Sometimes it's good, most of the time it's trash. Collect that, and then go to sleep in mum's bed. You go to sleep in mum's bed, wake up, all the lights are off. You go into the living room, and in the living room, a TV appears. The TV turns on all static, and you fight someone called Dogma. So you beat the TV first, which is holding Dogma kind of connected. Beat the TV, which is a whole health bar. Then Dogma gets released, uh, and you fight him. Super hard boss. Once you beat that, you then go into the beast fight. And like I said, there's four Harbringers. You fight one at a time. They're super fucking hard. Beat all four of them. Then Beast comes down. Fight Beast. There you go. You finally unlocked everything for that character. And then I've got Isaac, Madeline. I've still got to do loads for Kane. Got to do loads for Judas. Got to do loads for Question, Question, Question. Got to do loads for Eve. Got to do loads for Samson. Got to do loads. <laughs> Zazel, Lazarus, Eden, Lost, Lilith, Keeper, Apollyon, Forgotten, Bethany. And Jacob and Ezo. So you've got to do that for every single character. And the, yeah, and the thing is, every single character, like every single mark that you complete, unlocks a certain item. So that item which I wanted to unlock that I was just talking about, I had to use this person called Lilith and beat the beast, which you can see there I've managed to finally do. Still not beat Delirium or boss rush or anything with this character this character basically as you see it's got like a blindfold on but then there's a little thing behind it called incubus and basically that shoots the tears so i'll just go in and show you quickly i'm not going to actually do anything but i'll just show you the character so it follows you around but as you can see it's not directly where i am and it moves a little bit odd so you shoot with it but it's, it's hard to line up, but you also get this other item that you that I can use if I press L1. It spawns two of them, but that has to recharge. Once I go into the next room, it disappears, and it has three rooms to recharge so I can use it again. So that character, I had to beat the beast with. I beat the beast, and that unlocks the section, for instance. So I've just, at the minute, certain things I want to unlock, I use certain characters. Now this is where it gets fucking more complicated. <laughs> So, when I said like you can go to the beast fight and you go into you go backwards, so you go six five four three two one the basement. You come out of basement into Isaac's house. In Isaac's house, if you get an item called the red key or cracked key, and you can get it, there's a chance of it dropping on any of those six floors on the way back down. But it's quite a low chance. Let's say it's about ten percent. I can't remember what the chance is exactly, but it's about ten percent. Then, when you go through the hallway leading up to Mom's room, there's a random, uh, there's a, on the wall, you'll see like a red outline of a door. If you have the cracked key, which is a one-time use item, or the actual red key, which um, you can use after so many, uh, so many rooms, it's like, I think it's like four rooms, you can use it again. You use that on the wall, you go in there, and then you unlock the tainted version of a character. So as you see, when I press R1, it changes to the tainted variant. Everything's all a bit fucked up. And they all have slightly different things. So this is Isaac. Haven't unlocked Madeline. I've unlocked Kane. Haven't unlocked any other character. And for every character, you have to do exact same thing again. Be Mom's heart, like blah, 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 all the way to the beast to unlock even more items. And like it says, they have different things. So this one, more options, less room. So the way it works for this character, this is Isaac, which is my favorite usually, but this one's a bit trash. There's 10 dots underneath my heart. No, 8 dots, sorry. And that's room for an item. So if I pick up an item, it'll go into there. Once I've reached 8, if I want to pick up another item, I then have to decide which item I want to get rid of. So I have to replace the items. So you can only ever have eight items throughout the whole run. Kane is annoying as fuck, this one. Right, so with this character, I can only ever have a certain amount at the bottom. But I have this sack. Right, so if I kill something now, kill this enemy, I have a chance of a card dropping. Is it this one? Oh, no, I don't even have a chance of the card dropping on this one, do I? The way it works on this one is you pick up items 
Yeah. The way it works on this one is you pick up items. I can have eight items. They all go in the... Uh... Fuck's sake. They all go in that... Um... Why can't I fucking kill these bastards? I'll show you on the challenge run, actually. It'll be easier to show you. Because um, I haven't done the challenge run yet, because it's fucking solid. So it's very similar to this. If you see my bottom right corner, I've got three items. I can press R1 to use it. So now I've got range up, right? But that's only for this room. As soon as I go out of the room, it's gone. If I use this, shot speed and party time, whatever. I've used them only in this room. If I leave the room now, uh, I don't have anything and I'm back down to base stats. You will get these cards after like every room. So this one has got another item. If I was to use this, I get piercing shots and speed up. Again, I leave the room. I ain't got it anymore. So, the way this works, it's very similar with Tainted Cane, except um, you don't get those card pickups very often. <laughs> so you have to get like 10 items and then pretty much hold on to them. Like with this, like you can get free and then you just use them just to get rid of one and have something else. And you can cycle between what you want to use. So on that one, you have to get, like, for instance, say, say you got, like, five items. Well, you don't want to use them in any of the normal rooms, do you? Let's be honest, because you're going to get fucked up. So, uh, like, because you'll kill that room, but then you got to go and come against a boss. Against the boss, what you're going to do. So you save everything for the boss fights. But then you also have to think, you want to save the more stronger items for the harder bosses. So it's just so hard to, like, fucking deal with your shit. Well, this is the thing, and that, that's just that character, and that's this character where it has more options and less room. Every single character has different things. Like, this this character I need to unlock. Um, on the normal version, uh, it's called the Lost. Um, you have no health. If you get hit, you die. But you can unlock an item called Holy Mantle, which I've got for him now. So if I get hit, uh, well, I can take an extra hit every single room. So he's not that bad. This one, they've made it so, again, you can never get the Holy Mantle, so you always die in one hit. But, it also has a bonus of every single um, room contains better quality items. So, there's positives and negatives to everything. There's so many good characters, like this Eden. Question, question, question. You literally don't know what he's going to have at the beginning. I've got 126 Eden tokens. You get it for, you get a token every time you beat uh, every time you kill mom's heart. Uh, if I use him and he dies, I lose a token, obviously. Um, but you can click on him. Like, I could start this now. And I'll start with an item every time. So I've started with a really, really fucking good item. It shoots my speed out like that really fast. Just for that period of time. And it builds back up. So it's good when you first go into a room. So I'd, like, first go in. And I'm, like, I'm quite strong as soon as I start. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. When I exit now, like if I started another run, I'd uh, I'd erase that, but I can continue that at any time now. I'm gonna keep that one there because that's a fucking good run. <laughs> right. Um, let me switch over then to some VR. I need to text Geo first, actually, quickly, just to see if he wants to go climbing still later. Uh. Oh yeah, shit, I was meant to send a photo. You already took a photo, Ryan did. Oh, Ryan was in there now, isn't he? Company of Wellings and Nick. Was it Wellings and Nick that actually did it in the end? Or did the... Did, they, did uh, Wellings actually get that guy to do it with him? I ain't got a clue. Oh yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Right then, let's get the fucking VR out. I was going to put a t-shirt on to be fair, I'm, I'm just chilling in with no top on mate, but thinking about it logistically, I sweat like fuck man when I'm playing VR. <laughs> Any annoying thing 
about um, like in our flat because it's obviously quite small. When we do the washing, because obviously it's the washing between the two of us, we have like two of the areas and we put them both up. But there's nowhere really to put them other than like the living room. So in the living room, I've got like two fucking areas out right now and it just limits fucking space. Right then. Uh, oh, I need to connect this to the headset, don't I? Hello. So I'm just setting up the fucking headset and the mic and everything on the VR. Right. Right, that looks good. That's not what I haven't done. That's better. 